In this video, I wanted to give you an idea about the cranial anatomy of the duck-billed platypus and Litharynchus latinus. I'm going to focus on the skull using a mesh that's available at morphosource.org with acknowledgments to Carol Spencer and the Museum of Vertebrate Zoology at the University of California at Berkeley. So the first thing to point out is the bony structure of the bill, and that's of course what you're looking at with the anterior part of this animal's skull. And just as we discussed in the lower jaw in another video, the nervous supply to that bill is substantial. And so here is the point at which this maxillary division of trigeminal enters onto that sort of lateral part of the rostrum, and that nerve is helping to convey sensory impulse from the upper part of the bill back to the brain. And you can even look through that and just see how big that foramen is. It exits the skull, the brain case, via that opening right there, that nerve, that foramen. That's the exit foramen for the maxillary division of trigeminal. And since we spoke about this already in the, in the lower jaw, here you can see the exit foramen for the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve. And because um, this, or one of the other uh, nice points of this mesh is that it has the uh, auditory ossicles and the tympanic bones intact on both sides, and you can see them here and here. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit and point out the malleus, which is on one side of that frame for the auditory membrane, and the ectotympanic, which is on the other side. And so it's a bit different than what you see in theory in mammals and placentals and marsupials in that the malleus actually contributes, well, it contributes more to the frame of the tympanic membrane than it typically does in other mammals. And if you zoom in even more, you can get an idea of where the stapes is located. There it is. That's the stapes uh, connecting to the oval window. And then here's the point at which the stapes articulate with the incus. Now, this is a very nice mesh, but it doesn't really show you any sutures. I suppose that could be one right there. Um, you don't really see a suture in this mesh. I'll put a, a video after this annotated part, or a movie after this annotated part, um, which unfortunately lacks the malleus and the ectotympanic, but you can see in that video a slightly better quality um, rendition of the stapes and the incus.